Everyone probably knows about this feature on Sony full frame cameras where you can crop into Super 35 mode and you get extra reach. However, I'm pretty sure that most people, myself included, aren't sure if it impacts your image in any way. Therefore, to save you the time and effort, I'm making this video to give you those answers. Perhaps you can hit the like and subscribe button to show some support for this channel. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we will be exploring the consequences, if any, when you use the Super 35 mode on the Sony full frame cameras. In photo mode, when you enable the Super 35 mode, you have a severe drop in megapixels. However, it is said that when you use Super 35 mode in video, there will be no loss in image quality. Call me a skeptic, but I would like to run some tests to find out for myself. Furthermore, there are other aspects apart from image quality that might be affected, so I'll be testing that out too. The first test is an image quality test, and I was wondering if differences were visible if the footage was shot in 1080p. Now, I will shoot the same image in Super 35 mode, and I'll move the camera back to achieve the same framing so both images can be compared equally. Looking at the images side by side, I would like to point out that there is actually a slight bit of loss in image quality, although you probably wouldn't be able to tell without such a comparison. To make sure that my results are accurate, I decided to shoot my next example in 4K. This time, I'm shooting with the A7 III. I am not using the A7S III because that camera is not able to use Super 35 mode in 4K. Honestly, I could barely tell any difference if I was looking at the clips this way. However, side by side, you can tell that the image shot with the full frame sensor is slightly sharper. Since this is a 4K image on a 1080 timeline, I could crop in and show you guys the difference. Here is another example shot in 4K again. When looking at a clip without a side by side comparison, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell that this is shot in Super 35 mode. I would like to conclude this round of tests by saying that even though there is a difference, no one will be able to tell unless it's compared side by side and the image is in fact very usable even when shot in Super 35 mode. With that question answered, let's now take a look to see if there are any other impacts. From what I understand, using the Super 35 mode is like turning your full frame sensor into an APS-C sensor. One of the big advantages of shooting with a full frame sensor is greater flexibility when it comes to depth of field. What that means is that it is easier to achieve shallow depth of field effects with a full frame sensor. If that's the case, will my depth of field be less shallow when we're shooting in Super 35 mode? Let's find that out. This time, I'll be shooting with a zoom lens. This is shot in full frame mode at approximately 52mm. I am shooting with a zoom lens so that I can zoom out when shooting in Super 35 mode to achieve the same framing. This is shot at 35mm with Super 35 mode turned on. The reason for doing so is because distance between the lens, subject and the background will affect the depth of field. Therefore, to prevent that, I am using a zoom lens instead of a prime lens. From what I can see, the background separation is indeed more distinct in full frame mode. Let's take a look at a close-up in the next example to confirm the results. FYI, I am focusing on the dog's nose instead of its eyes. The depth of field is indeed thinner in the image shot on the full frame sensor. After looking at the two different examples, I can conclude that the Super 35 mode will affect your depth of field. Another benefit of shooting with full frame sensors is better low light performance. So will shooting in Super 35 mode affect that? To find out the answer, I am shooting in a low light situation with relatively high ISO settings. The settings remain the same for both images and I would like to see which results in the noisier image. Side by side, the noise in the image shot in Super 35 mode is indeed significantly noisier in my opinion. With these results, I would definitely try to avoid using Super 35 mode in low light situations where I have to use high ISO levels. The last advantage I can think of for shooting with a full frame sensor is that it will give you better dynamic range. In this test, I'll be shooting a subject in a high contrast situation and exposing for the background. To see which shot has a higher dynamic range, we will see which image retains more details in the shadows.
I did a second test with a different high contrast scene. Once again, I exposed for the highlights. Side by side, I think that the highlights of the image shot with the full frame sensor is slightly better preserved and the shadows are cleaner. I'll leave you guys to judge for this round as it is too close for me to see much difference. That is pretty much all the things that I was curious about. From the results of all the tests combined together, I would say that I will not hesitate to shoot in Super 35 mode. I will only try to avoid it in low light situations. I hope this video gives you the answers you have been looking for and perhaps even answers that you never knew you wanted. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. That's it for today, it's a wrap!